uh, we're going to be talking about the uh, what's referred to as the Nish Anishinaabe sound chart. Uh, it's based upon somebody. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure about the source, but the guy's name is Fierro. It's more uh, familiar, I guess, as, as the Fierro sound chart, and it employs certain sounds of, of uh, vowel sounds that uh, approximate the, the the way the the vowel sounds are in the in the Anishinaabe language. Um, the Anishinaabe language um, is um, uh, different from the European languages in that in that there are certain sounds that simply aren't pronounced. Uh, let's see if I can remember the the, the, the list of the sounds that aren't heard in uh, Nishnabe when uh, uh, L, wait, F, L, P, Q, and I'm pretty sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's R, and the vowel, the only vowel you won't hear in the Anishinaabe language is you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put down the, the, the list of um, um, vowels here and then we're going to have another list of the consonants that you would commonly hear in the Anishinaabe language and then we're going to go through, we're going to practice those, those sounds and, and I'm going to give you some words that approximate, some English words that approximate the sounds. Uh, there are seven vowel sounds, four of them are short, three of them are long. We have A, E, I, and O. Okay. We also have the the double A, double I, and double O sounds. The A sounds like. the U in butt, the E as in bat, I as in bit, and the O sound sounds like the sound in sow, as in, as in not, not sowing, but sowing like you're planting seeds, so. The double A, ah, 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 ah. Shawl, the double I sound is the same as the double E sound in feet. And the double O in book. So when you say these sounds, when you pronounce these sounds, you're going to be saying them <clears throat> something like this. A, E, I, O, A, I, O. A, E, I, O, A, I, O. Now what I needed to do is to follow along, I need you to combine each of these consonants with each of the vowels and you'll end up approximating the sounds that we use in the Nishnabe language. So you'll have ba, if you're using b, ba, be, bi, bo, ba, bi, bu, cha, che, ch, ch, cha, Chi Chu. And so you go through the rest of the alphabet using those different consonants, and then all you do is you place the consonants before the um, before the vowel, and, and that'll give you the, 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 the sound that those the combinations make. Um, for example, I'll give you an example. Here's an example. If you were to say that word in English, how would you pronounce it? You're right. Name. Okay. If you apply the Fierro sound chart, you have a short sounding A. Na.
na me, na me. Okay, they're both short vowels. Na me, na me means to pray. There are a number of other sounds that you would hear. Uh, let's see. Let's give you another example. G mon, G mon, G mon is a canoe, or sometimes it's also used to describe a boat. G mon, uh, oh, I can't remember. Um, if I can remember his name, I'll post it on the website and you can take a look. But he told the story that G mon actually means kiss. When, when you, when, and that's the sound that it makes when, when your paddle hits the water as you're paddling. Okay, and that's why they call a canoe Jimon. In any event, um, these are your consonants, these are your vowels. Uh, try to remember from, from, the, from, the, um, from the Ontario Learn website that the, the, the sounds approximate different, different little short words in the English language. Practice them, please. Uh, you can you can sing. There's a little there's a little tune that the um, elementary school teachers, uh, language teachers, will use, and they'll say, a, e, e, o, a, e, u, and then you take all your consonants. Ba, be, be, bo, ba, bi, bo, and that's it. Pretty simple. Okay. Thank you.